Have you ever wondered what our world will ultimately become? Will it eventually be taken over by robots? Movies like Terminator, Robocop, iRobot, and others explore these ideas. But how much of this is based on real science? Stay with us until the end of the video to find out. Back in 1965, the founder of Intel, Mr. Gordon Moore, said that every two years, the number of transistors on a computer chip roughly doubles. People were teasing him, but what he meant was that transistors are getting smaller so you can fit more of them on a chip. When Moore said this, it was only six years after they made the first electronic chip. The technological singularity is a theory that artificial intelligence will surpass human intelligence, which can be a bit scary. Technological growth in the last hundred years has been unprecedented, with its growth curve skyrocketing. Just a century ago, the Wright brothers faced many challenges when they built the first airplane. And if you're interested, you can find a video of that on the channel. But a hundred years later, we've reached a point where we're traveling to Mars. In the past 50 years, the size of transistors has decreased from 10,000 nanometers to just 10 nanometers. 50 years ago, with one dollar, you could do one-tenth of a calculation per second, or CPS, but now, with one dollar, you can do one billion calculations per second. CPS, or FLOPS, measures the speed of data processing by computers. Ray Kurzweil, a guy who's very good at guessing the future, says that by 2045, computer brains will match the power of human brains. The power of the human brain is about 10 quadrillion calculations per second, which you write as 10 with 15 zeros after it. Computers will reach this level of power. When computers match the power of the human brain, it doesn't mean they'll have human intelligence because intelligence is separate from processing power. Before we go further, there are three types of artificial intelligence. Narrow, general, and super. Narrow AI can do specific tasks, like playing chess or driving. General AI is smarter than humans, but we haven't achieved it yet. The third type, super AI, is quite scary. Some scientists think of it as the god of artificial intelligence because it's billions of times more powerful than the human brain. When super AI is created, there might not be room for humans anymore. We might become extinct, or we might have to find eternal life somehow. First, let's focus on where we are right now instead of what's ahead in the future. Despite not having super-intelligent AI yet, we're making progress. If you've watched the video, The Future of AI, on the channel, you know that we can scan the human brain and keep it alive in a computer. Scientists believe that to create intelligence greater than humans, we need to scan the human brain and transfer it to computers. But the problem is, we're not yet capable of scanning the brain. Another approach is to give computers complex codes, but this takes a lot of time. However, they say it might be possible within the next hundred years. Let's fast forward a bit into the future and imagine that we've created a computer smarter than humans. In that scenario, the first thing humans might do is pressure the computers to make themselves smarter, because being smarter will be the computer's power. Essentially, humans would be telling computers, you're more capable than us now, and we're dumber than you. This pressure from humans on computers in the future could be very dangerous. Unlike humans, 
who evolve slowly over thousands of years, computers can get smarter really fast by improving themselves. Now, can we control this speed of getting smarter? Sadly, no. When computers reach a point where they see themselves as superior to humans and start making decisions on their own, it's a problem. They become so much smarter than us that they consider humans fools and act in ways we might not even notice. This is the same superintelligence we talked about earlier, also known as artificial superintelligence. Scientists have even given it the title of the god of computer intelligence also. Now, does this incredible intelligence have a positive or negative mindset? Is it good or bad? Well, if this intelligence shares itself with humans and helps the world with its immense knowledge, it's fantastic. It could solve humanity's toughest problems in no time. Remember, this artificial intelligence is billions of times smarter than humans. If it were around during the time of COVID-19, it would have come up with a solution in minutes. It would solve issues like global warming instantly and hunger wouldn't exist anymore. This intelligence would tackle all these problems for us. Scientists believe that if we reach this level of intelligence, known as the third kind of intelligence, death would even disappear. Our minds would merge with computers, keeping us alive forever. But what if this powerful intelligence isn't positive and become like an evil creature? This intelligence has so much power that it could wipe out humans and other creatures in a fraction of a second because it holds the world in its grip. Now, the question arises, can humans create this intelligence but ensure it doesn't turn bad? Scientists say not to worry, as we can give them codes before making them powerful, specifying their goals. We can tell them, you must only help improve Earth and its creatures, and give them codes so they won't pose any danger. But some scientists believe that this intelligence won't be controllable at all. And once it becomes smarter, it can change these codes on its own. At that point, this intelligence will tell humans, you're not capable enough to command me. The idea of technological singularity has both supporters and critics. Bill Gates and Stephen Hawking say it's very risky and shouldn't be made. Even Elon Musk opposes it. However, Mark Zuckerberg is 100% in favor and has invested in it himself. When humans invent this intelligence, it will be their last invention, because this third kind of intelligence will handle all future inventions and human inventions will become ineffective since our intelligence won't match it. What do you think? If you ask me, artificial superintelligence will eventually be created because the path to creating it has almost been completed. And whether we want it or not, this intelligence will be produced. Please leave a comment.